Text 205F, Laboratory Method of Mixing Bituminous Mixture. Design the bituminous mixture as described in text 204F. Separate the material retained on the number 8 sieve for each stockpile into individual sieve sizes as required by the specification. Place the pan with or without a trowel or small bowl on the balance and tear the balance. Note. It is recommended, but not mandatory, to use a trowel or small bowl. Use the trowel to separate the aggregate sizes as they are added. This aids in the removal of excess material if too much is accidentally added. Use the individual or cumulative weight for each sieve size calculated. Note: Weigh the fine aggregate passing the number 8 sieve last. Adjust the weight of the aggregate batch by adding or removing very small amounts of fines to equal the total weight if necessary. Add the calculated amount of aggregate for the largest sieve size from the first stockpile into the pan. Place the blade of the trowel or small bowl in a flat position on top of this layer as noted in section 4.3 and add the calculated amount of the aggregate for the next smaller sieve size on the trowel or to the side of the previous aggregate added. Add all the aggregate sizes for the stockpiles, mineral filler, and hydrated lime to the pan by repeating this process. Mix the dry aggregate weight until all sizes and materials are blended thoroughly. Note: It is important to blend the dry aggregate thoroughly when adding hydrated lime as an anti-stripping additive. Place the thermometer into the aggregate and set the aggregate in an oven maintained at or slightly above the mixing temperature. Select the mixing temperature from table one in the test procedure based on the asphalt binder specified on the plans. Note, if using wrap or RAS and a substitute PG binder in lieu of the PG binder originally specified on the plans, defer to the originally specified binder grade when selecting the mixing temperature. When adding warm mix asphalt additives or using warm mix asphalt processes in the laboratory, select the mixing temperature based on the asphalt binder specified on the plans. Place the calculated quantity of wrap or RAS in a separate pan when applicable. Heat the material in the oven at the mixing temperature. Note: Keep heating time for recycled materials to a minimum to avoid further hardening of the recycled material asphalt binder. Remove the aggregate from the oven after the aggregate has reached the required mixing temperatures. Remove the thermometer. Slowly place the heated aggregate into a mixing bowl. When applicable, add the heated recycled material to the heated aggregate and thoroughly blend the materials. Make a small depression in the center of the aggregate using a trowel without exposing the bottom of the mixing bowl to receive the asphalt material. Place the mixing bowl with the heated aggregate on the scale and tear. Add the required amount of preheated asphalt material. Note: Use gloves or a pair of side angle pliers to avoid burning hands. Remove excess asphalt if necessary. Thoroughly mix to blend the asphalt material and the aggregate either by hand or with a mechanical mixer. Use a trowel to blend the aggregate around the side of the pan when mixing by hand. Take care to prevent free asphalt material from coming in contact with the side or bottom of the mixing pan. Mix the aggregate and asphalt material continuously until the materials are coated thoroughly. Note: It may be necessary to adjust the mixing time or temperature for some mixtures to coat the aggregate particles thoroughly. Carefully consider and calculate the speed and time of mixing and the clearance between the mixing device and the bowl to prevent abnormal degradation of the aggregate when using a mechanical mixer. Mix the aggregate and asphalt material continuously until the materials are coated thoroughly.
Split the mixture into the appropriate size as needed and place the samples in the oven. Identify each mixture with the laboratory number and indicate the percentage of asphalt.